Hi guys, welcome back to another video. On today's episode, we're gonna take a look at an eight port managed PoE switch from a company called Ingenious. If you've never owned a managed PoE switch, well, this is a great opportunity to get one for around $200. So today, we'll install this in our office or family room, we'll hook it all up, and then we can access this switch from a cloud-based app from your phone to make all the adjustments. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, let's go ahead and unbox the switch. And this model is the ECS1008P. And this is an eight port gigabit layer two plus management features. So the first thing you get is an installation guide. And this installation guide is very thorough. And this is the eight port switch. And this bag contains the power cables, the rubber foot pads, the wall mount kit, and the ground screw kit. And this is the front of the switch with the eight ports. And these are the two mounting holes if you're gonna mount the switch. On the back of the switch is the power button and the DC in connection. And full disclosure, this switch was provided for free by Ingenious for a thoughtful and honest review. And once again, this is the wall mount screws for the switch. On the left side of the switch is five LED lights, an LED mode button and a reset button. And this switch is 9.44 inches long by 4.13 inches wide and is about one inch thick and weighs less than a pound and a half. And to keep this switch cool, it has plenty of ventilation with a total of three vents, one in the back and two on the side. So we're not gonna mount this switch, so we'll need to attach the rubber foot pads. And take note of the QR code on the back. We're gonna use that to register the device. All right, so we opted to put the switch on our desk in the office. This will allow for easy access of the switch. And my plan is to attach a NAS to the switch and our two terabyte Western Digital Cloud. But first, let's connect it to the network. So the cable that comes from the wall that goes to my PC, right here, this cable will plug into the switch on port one. And then we'll connect this cable from the PC to the switch on port two. And then the switch will be up and running. And at this point, if you did nothing else to this switch, it would still work. Whatever you plug in would have connectivity. However, if you have a managed switch, well, you want to manage it. And that's exactly <laughs> what we're going to do. And you may also notice I tidied up the wires behind my desk. I use zip ties. Everything's a little bit neater and organized. However, under my desk, it's a bit messy. <laughs> and that's definitely a work in progress. So the first thing we have to do is get the power connected to the switch. And I have two surge protectors mounted under my desk. So connecting the power is very easy. Okay, now the power cord's plugged in there. And then now I'll connect the power to the surge protector. Next, I'll unplug the network cable from the PC and plug it into port one on the switch. Maybe someday I'll make this look pretty. Someday. And I'm gonna plug it right. Yeah, I can go ahead and turn this on in the back. We've got lights. Yeah. Next, I'm gonna plug this into the switch and then plug the other end into my computer so my computer's back online, and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna go with the port, looks like port two. And simply just stuff the wire back down here, like so. Here, wire, which I will zip tie. First thing I'll do is plug this in, then I'll zip tie everything afterwards. And then all this has got to get zip tied. And I've got plenty right here, some small ones. I'll probably do three or four per cable. And I want it to be as high as possible. I don't want to bore you with all the wire organization. So at the end of the video, I'll show you everything I did to make things nice and neat. And FYI, zip ties are a great way to organize wires. So at this point, I'm all done setting up the switch. 
I plugged in my two terabyte cloud. And now we need to download the Ingenious Cloud app. And we'll also go to their website and create a new account. Once you create the new account, check your email to activate your account. Easy. And lastly, to add the switch to the account, use the app on your phone to add the device and scan that QR code on the back of the switch. And FYI, it may take a couple minutes for the switch to go online. So be patient. And we're all done. Everything's okay. And you also have an option to rename your switch. Now let's go ahead and look at a few of the settings. We'll go to switch settings first. If you're familiar with Cisco switches, then you will recognize most of these options. Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol, LDAP, VLANs, QoS, and IGMP snooping, and MTU size. Unlike a Cisco switch, where the programming can be very difficult, this interface is very easy to use, and I like that. All right, this is the general settings, your country, time zone, and passwords, basic stuff. And these are the VLAN settings, and we currently don't have any VLANs yet. And here's the status of our switch. Everything is okay. And simply click on the switch to see all the information. Now we'll do a speed test. We need to check our download speeds and upload speeds. And just a heads up, we have one gig fiber from CenturyLink. And these speeds are great. Download is 847 and upload is 328. And one last thing to do is update the firmware. And just remember, once you update the firmware for the switch, your switch will be offline for a couple of minutes, so be patient. So guys, the great thing about having a managed PoE switch is the ability to control everything on that switch. You can turn ports on or off. You can set the rate limit for uploads and downloads. You can create VLANs, and you can set your port speed and turn the PoE on or off. Now, some of the options for this app will require a pro version, which is the paid version. However, all the options that I have mentioned do not require the pro version, and that's a great thing. And after installing the switch and looking at all the app features, I have to say this managed PoE switch is pretty impressive. For the $215 price point, you get a lot of value. And if you've ever priced managed PoE switches, well, they can be very expensive, upwards of $1,000 or more. And for most home networks, that's pretty unreasonable. However, for an eight port managed PoE switch at $215, that price point is right on par for most home networks. All right, guys, now I've shown you the installation and the setup and all the main features for this switch and even a speed test. I can safely say there's nothing about the switch that I don't like. It provides everything for a safe and secure network. And make sure to look for future videos on this switch where I show you how to create VLANs, virtual local area networks. But guys, for now, we're all done here. And as usual, there'll be a link in the description below to where you can buy this switch. And as always, if you have any questions about this switch, feel free to ask me in the comments below. We answer every comment. And guys, I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And for every new member, we do a personal shout out on the very next video. And guys, remember, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share it. And if you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a fantastic day.